providing the much needed relief to the choking tourism sector. The sector that had lost over 80 billion Kenya shillings by end of June is struggling to make a comeback with shrunk accommodation and conferencing revenues and struggling with drink and beverages, beverages sales. Kevin Ogutu tells us this story with focus on what is going on in the Nyanza and western regions. It is no doubt a beautiful view of Lake Victoria from the balcony of one of the hotel rooms overlooking the lake. Facing the Impala Sanctuary, visitors have the privilege of watching the Impalas that come closer during morning hours from the comfort of their rooms. According to Robinson Anyal, the chairman of Western Kenya Hospitality Leaders Association, the region depends largely on domestic tourism which accounts for about 90% of the clients they serve. 99% of the hotels closed for a period of four months. That uh, the business was not sustainable, and that was the major reason we had to close down. And also with the safety and health-related issues of our staff and guests at that particular time. Four months later, about 98% of the hotels in the region have opened in spite of the slow business. According to Anyal, most of the businesses are operating at 30% and below their capacity in terms of accommodation and conferencing. Depending on the size and uh, the status of the business, some find that sustainable, some may not find it sustainable in terms of business. Uh, but we thank God we are all operating. At the center of the COVID-19 pandemic in the tourism sector were employees who lost jobs in their thousands as hotels, restaurants and tour and travel companies closed shop, turning the lives of many upside down. Majority have only recalled a portion of their human resource. Uh, looking at the region, across the region, Majority are saying they have either only recalled 50% or on the higher side 70%. At the Vic Hotel in Kisumu, we meet Rudolf Matthias, the facilities manager. He says the hotel business was troubled long before COVID-19 set in. All the hotels in Kisumu rely on NGO workshops, conferencing, their meetings, their trainings, all those things. So even before COVID happened, NGOs were affected because their respective nations, because of an economic downturn, global economic downturn that slashed aid. But as things were coming to normal times, COVID happened. It is a 106 room capacity, but according to the manager, the occupancy rate right now stands at between 10 and 15 rooms in a day. But despite this, and with the president directing restaurants and hotels with residents to serve alcoholic drinks, there is hope. The eating and drinking business, that will recover faster than accommodation. Okay. Because people are not going on big holidays or something, so locally they will tend to go out and still want to take a break, go to restaurants and enjoy themselves. Yeah. So this, that was going to help. I mean, but uh, also it should not be fickle like, you know, today you started, yeah? I mean, this came, but after 15 days, another decision, no, 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 no way, like, you know, so. And this hope is shared by Tom Gidire, the Akesha Premier Hotel Manager, who despite his few days in town, is already impressed by the market outlook in the hospitality industry. Small conferencing are responding very well. The big conferencing are in the books. September for us, the bookings look close to back to where we were pre-COVID. We, we are sure we will see those days of big business by the end of the year. It is, however, not all gloom in the tourism sector. Right here at the Impala Sanctuary, the foot traffic has steadily risen over the past one month. Philip Otieno is a boat rider at the sanctuary. one month ago. The various stakeholders are clinging on the hope that COVID-19 infections will go down and with that the sector will be rejuvenated. Kevin Ogutu, KTN News. Now, Northeastern Regional Commission